504 down here is the do should be the domain of the assistant ref. And what Albert was talking about is this is a situation where the assistant sees something down in this area because the center's job is to run this way, which isn't necessarily to come down all the way into here. So if there's hijinks going on down in this quadrant, okay, then it's probably the assistant's job to make that call, raise the flag and wiggle it like Albert said, okay? So in quadrant four down here, it's responsibility of this assistant referee. Likewise, up in quadrant two, up here, same thing. If the center is running in this diagonal, okay? So they're not necessarily running up into this corner. So if there's a foul that happens up in here, okay, it's the job of this assistant to call that, make that call, okay? Does that make sense? So that's quadrant one for this assistant, this quadrant for this assistant, this quadrant for this assistant, and the other two quadrants has to be there for the center. The center's got to make all of those calls. The, the assistant should not be making any calls in this quadrant or in this quadrant, okay, in terms of fouls. Now, what the assistant can do is because they're positioned on the touch lines here, if the ball goes out across the touch line here, and this assistant can see all the way down, absolutely they can make that call, no question about it. Likewise, down here with this assistant. Okay, they, that's okay. They might not be able to see who put it out in all cases. They, right, they can at least raise yeah. their flag and say the ball is out of play right now. And as, okay, as the AR, you should feel fully comfortable asking the parents to take four steps backwards so you can see all the way down yeah. the line. You want to be able to see the entire length of the touch line. Mm -hmm. Both assistants. Okay. okay. All right. So that's that's the diagonal system of control. Diagonal system of control is the only system that's recognized by AYSO, okay, um, in the older games. When, once you get into or the, the, little, the little kids' games, there's no real diagonal because we don't have three referees, okay? So, but in U10 and above, when you start having assistance, this is the only really recognized system. If you go into high schools, which I ref a little bit in high schools, okay, there's two referees and they're both on the field. And the reason for that is money, okay? Because they pay the referees in high school and rather than to have to pay three referees, they only pay two. And so what they do is one of them will be positioned here and the other will be positioned here and they're supposed to look at one another and make the calls including offside themselves on the field. That's not the way we do it here. This is AYSO, and this is also, by the way, the, any club, the Slammers, any of those people, that's how they do their referee, okay, the referee system of control. Now, let's talk about the center, okay? The center, he's not supposed to just run on this diagonal, okay? This is a general guideline for the way they're supposed to run and control the game. They don't have to just stay there, okay? The ideal for the referee is to stay within 10 to 20 yards of the ball at all times, okay? Even if that means they gotta veer off and come up here, even though they're off of the diagonal, that's okay. If they have to come down here, they're off of the diagonal, that's okay. It's a general idea of the way that they gotta run. And also to let you know that if play is up in this area here, then it's the job of this of the center to make that call. They got to be for sure up there as close to the play as they can. Okay? The, the reason that it's important to stay close to the play is because if there's a foul, something that you got to call, and you're far away from it, you're not going to have a lot of credibility in making that call. Whereas if you're close to the play, okay, and you can see, you clearly can see what's going on, and you make a foul going this way, okay? You're going to be able to sell that call a lot better, and you're going to you're going to be a better referee. You're going to gain a lot more credibility. So what does that mean? That means you got to hustle, you got to run, and you got to stay with the play. And believe me, somebody that doesn't run a lot, it's hard, particularly when you get into U12 and U14, to keep up with the play because you're playing a full size field, and you got fast kids that are faster than you. So you got to you got to hustle and keep up once you get into the U12, U10. 
it's a shorter field, the kids aren't as skilled, they're still kind of chopping around there and you can keep up pretty easily. But what you don't want to do as a center is stay, you know, within 10 yards or 20 yards of the center line, okay? You gotta be hustling into the corners, you gotta be hustling and making sure your most important calls, okay, your most important calls are gonna be in the goal areas, okay? So you gotta be there, able, and in a good position to make those calls, meaning you, you wanna position yourself here, okay? If there's play that's in this area, or here, if the play is in that area, so you can see where you, and you got a good view to make the call. You don't want to necessarily, what you don't want to do is get between the ball and the goal, okay? But what you want to do is make sure you're in a good position to make any call. Because what happens if you call a foul, which we'll go into a little bit. If you call a foul, direct free kick foul, and it's in the goal area, what's the, what's the restart? Penalty. penalty kick, right? And a penalty kick is kicker, goalkeeper, and that's it, okay? There's probably, in the pros, a 90 plus percent chance of scoring. In the little kids, probably 60 percent chance of scoring. Okay, so that's a very high percentage. You could, that could be a call that's gonna change the game, change the whole nature of the game. So you gotta make sure as the center that you are on top of the play, okay? So that means you gotta hustle, get yourself in position, okay? And likewise, Keeper, let's say there's play in the goal area. Keeper grabs the ball, okay? They can punt it now. Some of these kids can punt quite a ways. They can punt from here all the way down to here. So what do you do? You gotta hightail it and get yourself back close to the ball, okay? So that's where there's a lot of running as the center. So, and once you get the U10 games, you could probably do a couple games, three games a day. Once you get into U12, and you have to run that much, especially on a day like today, or later when we have Santa Ana's and it's 90 plus, you're hot and you are tired at the end of the game if you're really doing your job correctly, okay? 